today I thought I'd answer another question I get quite frequently. And that is, do I pluck and do I express? <laughs> do I pluck the dog's ears and do I express their anal glands? And the answer to both those is no. Um, I have plucked uh, Max and Mozzie's ears before. I have never, um, sorry if my eyes are watering guys, I've uh, got horrible allergies going on and my eyes are watering. Um, I, but I've never expressed anal glands. So there is a powder you can get at uh, your pet store, PetSmart is where I got mine. And you sprinkle it in the ear, onto the ear here, and it helps so you can grip the hair and pull it and pluck it out of the um, ear. When I was doing it, I thought, do I really need to be doing this? Because Mozzie and Max, I used to have groomed um, when I could afford to have, when I only had two dogs that I could afford to have them groomed. When I got Marley, I started grooming myself. Um, so I asked my vet, I said, is this something I have to do? Do I have to pluck the ear hair out? And he said, no, you don't, unless your dog um, has ear infections, um, not constantly, but frequently. And my dogs don't. Max has had an ear infection once uh, when he was younger, and Magnum had an ear infection when he was a puppy. But other than that, my dogs do not get ear infections. And he said, since they do not get ear infections uh, frequently, that plucking them could cause them to get an ear infection. So he told me, unless you have a dog that frequently has ear infections, you don't have to pluck them. Now I do trim the ear hair and I do use ear wipes, which I'll link uh, below in my Amazon store. I do use ear, if I can find them. I don't know if they're on Amazon, but I get them at PetSmart. Um, so if I don't, if I can't find them on Amazon, I will link the PetSmart link down below in the description. And I do use those to clean out the ear. And uh, Max has never had another ear infection and Magnum has never had another ear infection, knock on wood. Um, so I do not pluck their ears. And then the anal glands. So I never knew that when you took a dog to the groomers that they usually will express the anal glands. I didn't know this. So I'm sure when Max and Mozzie were going, they could have had them done. I never asked. Um, I was clueless. I didn't know that they did this. <laughs> but I asked my vet too about that because I was watching videos on it and I thought, oh my goodness, this is something I should be doing when, I'm, when I groom them and bathe them. I don't know. And he told me that if you start expressing their anal glands for them, they won't be able to do it. They'll end up not doing it naturally. So again, just like if your dog doesn't have a problem with um, ear infections, if they don't have a problem with their anal glands, you shouldn't express them or else they can't do it naturally on their own because they're meant to do that naturally on their own. Now, if you do have a dog that has a problem, you probably need to take them to the vet and have, or, or you could do it yourself if you want to. I don't know if I could. <laughs> if, if one of my dogs had a problem with their anal glands, I'd probably take them to the vet and have them express them. Or if you um, get your dog groomed and you have a, your dog has a problem, they'll express them for you too. So anyways, so the answer to those questions is no and no. No, I do not pluck and no, I do not express. And um, there you go. So I'm going to put this in my playlist. I have a playlist called Frequently Answering Your Frequently Asked Questions, something like that. But I'll link it down below. So if you want to check the other ones out and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.